G'day Roosters, let's have a look at AutoCAD 2022. My first look at it, I haven't even opened it. I've installed it earlier today, and this is the first time I'm clicking on the icon. So let's see what happens when we do that. So when you do that, you get a migrate migration um, palette, which basically is just migrating from your previous AutoCAD version and how you set it up to your new one. Now there is a, I've moved away from customizing extensively my AutoCAD. I try to work just in vanilla AutoCAD, but there are a few things that I have tweaked. Now I'll just click, tick on this. I can't remember if I, oh yes, I did install 2021. So it migrates the profiles, gives you something here. What does this pop up as? Yeah, so don't really see what the, the point of that is. It's opening up uh, Internet Explorer, not Microsoft Edge, and then it's saying to do that. So I'll just close that. Close, oh, what was that one? Just check what that tab was. Okay, so it's get there. Here's it's just opened up Internet Explorer and given you some what's changed with um, your migration. There is an error there about the vehicle tracking. I might have to install that manually separately through the Autodesk installation app. Um, it's just a yeah, you could save that to look at later on, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to see what happens. So, first of all, you can see that the start tab has re been redesigned. I don't know if that's exciting or not, but there's a whole bunch of different things that have changed there. It's probably a little bit more streamlined. Now, I did have a look through the um, what's new in AutoCAD 22, and I must say, like every year, I find it that it's a stitch up. You, sp you pay thousands of dollars for your subscription, you only get a few updates. Now, there's a trace here, which is mildly interesting, but people mark up PDFs with blue bean or something. I don't, could be handy, but not essential. Count could be cool. Counting of blocks and the way that works. We'll have a look at that um, and I'll play around with that in a second. Floating drawing windows is pretty cool too, especially for more than two screens or three screens, four screens. Uh, landscape, horizontal, etc. That one could be quite cool. And there's these two here that are sort of saving it into the cloud space. Not interested in that workflow at all, really. Inside of AutoCAD, outside of AutoCAD, yes, we're all up in it. And then the, the last two, well, that one, the Start tab redesign, well, that's a nothing thing because it's like you go off the Start tab straight away and I hardly ever go near it anyway. And then there's this 3D graphics technical preview, which I think from reading it, it's saying, oh, this is coming out, um, but it's not here yet. So what a stitch up. So one, two, three, four, five things. Two of those things are similar. So we've got four things for a couple of thousand bucks paid for a year, new. Not particularly great, but AutoCAD is a good product. It's a good general 2D drafting tool, so keep using it of course enjoy and enjoy do using it enjoying i do enjoy using it for many of my tasks that we have to do now let's open up a sample drawing and have a look at this new um, count command now i've got a message here that this application wasn't developed i think this sample drawing might have been drawn um, at some point in its workflow in intellicad so that's what that is about. So I've got a res reflected ceiling plan here of a public uh, assembly place. And I just thought this would be a good s example for the count um, new feature because it's got a lot of blocks in it. So in, where did they, where did they say it was? They said there was a new count thing and I didn't pay attention to where it was. Uh, here it is. So on view, there's this thing called count. Click on that. And it, by default, it just gives you a list of what blocks are in your drawing. Now, when you see that one, audio speak, if I click on that, it, it, it highlights them all, which I think that's pretty cool, actually. I do like that. And then you can click this button here, this little arrow, and you can rotate and zoom 
through them, which would be good for sorting. Um, so let's look at another one. So these troughers, you yeah, see how they pop in green? And then the 3112 troughers, the longer ones. That's pretty cool. And what it also said you could do, but I can't see it, is insert account field. Nope. There was a feature that I saw in the help that you could add a account list. Now I can't seem to see that anywhere there. So let's go to back to our help file. Um, so I'll just get back that help. And I can't really seem to be able to work that one out at the moment. It doesn't seem to be wanting to edit that. So let's close the counts tab, save the drawing. Just do a queue save. Go back into the count. Now I'm not getting that feature that they talked about readily, so I wonder how that works. Oh, here we go. You click on that little button up there and you get some tick boxes. Now let's go Troffer, Troffer, audio speaker and go insert. And it'll be interesting to see how this comes out. It looks like it's pretty small. Must be some ways to fiddle around with that. But you can get a schedule of those blocks and the count number. So that could be mildly useful in your drawing. Now the other one was um, if you opened multiple drawings, now let's have a have a go at that. So I've got my sample. If I just copy that one a couple of times and then open that from the desktop, copy those three. Okay, always open. Look, tick that, always open DWG regardless of it. I've never had a problem with something made not in AutoCAD. Anyway, who cares, you can fix it. Um, so you've got this ability to float, and I've just taken it to my second screen, out of AutoCAD. You can float it out of the tab, I think that's pretty cool. I can see a lot of uses for that. I really do like that feature. That's probably my favorite feature of AutoCAD 22, what's new. So there's some of my what's new in 2022 AutoCAD.